The political intrigues of Meru County appear far from over as it now emerges that 22 residents drawn from Meru County have petitioned the county assembly to impeach 11 county executive committee members and the secretary to the cabinet at the county. Reports, however, indicate that the governor, Kawira Mwangaza, is ready for a dissolution of the county government with the signature collection exercise needed to meet with the constitutional threshold set to begin on Monday. Our reporter, Halid Abdullahi, looks at the unending political theatrics of Meru County and what lies ahead for the Meru electorate. In the wake of Meru Governor Kawira Mwangaza's successful evasion of a second impeachment in the Senate, the strained relationship between the county executive and the assembly persists. The first-time governor holds that she was being frustrated by members of the county assembly who she said have made it impossible to deliver on her mandate. Governor Mwangaza alleged a plan by the MCAs to impeach the county executive committee members to further frustrate her administration. In view of this, the embattled governor has agreed to support signature collection towards kick-starting the dissolution exercise of Meru County Assembly. But what does the constitution say on the suspension of the county government? of inquiry. You remember like in uh, the Makweni case where we had uh, Nyaoga who was leading the commission of inquiry. What the commission will be able to do is will be able again to investigate afresh the allegations, the grounds, the basis that have been laid forth by the petitioners. In this case, perhaps the governor herself, uh, Governor uh, Kawira Mangaza, and uh, they will be able to send that report, uh, recommendation to the president. The Commission of Inquiry can actually say, uh, no, the county should not be suspended. Uh, but the president, uh, or it can again recommend to the president for suspension of the county. If the president agrees with the recommendation to suspend the, 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 the county, then what will happen is uh, he will be able to send that recommendation to the Senate. Because remember, the Senate has a direct role in uh, protecting the interests of the counties, among them actually uh, even looking at the recommendations for suspension or dissolution of a county. So in this case, if the, the, the Senate again agrees with the President, then what will happen is uh, the county uh, government of Meru will stand suspended. For how long? It is normally for suspension will take 90 days. So what happens to Meru County and the embattled governor after the 90 days lapse? The entire uh, leadership of Meru County will have to proceed for an election. But look at uh, where we are as a country. You know, we do not have even uh, IEBC. So Meru uh, case is going to be an interesting uh, case. It's coming at a time when some of the key institutions like IEBC are not in place. Yeah. A petition to the president must be supported by at least 10% of registered voters. Meru County has 772,139 registered voters. They therefore need 77,000 residents to support the petition. All this scenario is uh, in the event that the members of the county assembly and the governor cannot be able to work, it means there is nothing that is going on. What that one means is there will be stalled projects, even passing the budgets will be a challenge. And, and that's why Meru County uh, could be staring at uh, suspension. The third Alster motion aimed at impeaching the governor comes barely days after the Senate gave the governor a lifeline following her impeachment case that was before Senate. On Sunday, Deputy President Rigad Gashagwa said he will try broker a truce between Meru leaders and the recent unsuccessful attempt to impeach Kawira Mwangaza.